Today, we will be testing the limits of our team by jumping into an infinite and seeing how far we can go in a solo run using the best team in the game. Now, even though I do actually have the best team in the game right now, we have to take some very, very tough decisions as to which units we can bring because remember guys, damage is good, but support is usually what carries the runs very, very often. So let's pop out our team right here and let's check out what we have and what we are gonna be bringing. First things first, without zero thoughts, we are gonna be bringing the King of Curses himself, Sukuna, the best damage unit in the game by far with an absurdly strong nuke. Um, no introduction needed, absolutely mind blowing. Next up, we are going to be bringing MASH, the new ultimate unit, aka secret unit. Provides pretty decent damage and has a huge slow that also hits air since he's a hybrid unit. So obviously he's going to be a must-have unit. Two birds in one stone with this one. Definitely is going to make it to the cat. Next up, we are going to need Evolved Kojo. He does pretty good damage with uh, Overlord, but primarily the reason for bringing him is going to be the fact that he does provide that AoE time stop and he's going to be pretty much carrying us later on. Now, spot number four, we're going to be bringing Shinigami Saber. Again, one of the top three units in the game right now. Shinigami Saber, a lot of damage with uh, a baby nuke for each and every one of them. Four placement unit, really, really strong. And now for the last two spots, we could bring this guy, although Overlord Guts is not really as good as Avatar Guts, but we can't really bring him because Rika is Rukia is gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more beneficial for us. So we're gonna be bringing that freeze from Rukia. So essentially, we're gonna be having freeze plus slows plus the time stop. So we do have some sort of a support. And lastly, obviously, we need to bring Idol because we need the buff and we need money. All right, so let's jump into an infinite. For this one, I am gonna do Namek, primarily because I just like the map more and the map looks nice, like aesthetically. So let's jump into a Namek and I'll set up my stuff and I'll see you guys in a little bit once we actually start putting down some things. One eternity later. All right, guys, welcome back. As you can see, we're currently at wave 31 and we do have a bunch of money actually left in the side so we can actually start placing down our finalized lineup so i currently just dropped only a mash i was trying to actually farm kills as well but uh apparently rook is stealing my kills okay that can be good so anyway let's go ahead and just dump the rest of our money so we set this guy to last at least for the slows and that should be good enough and then that's the second mash i think we can just place the rest of them back here that should be fine as well and i actually think we won't have remotely enough money to even upgrade our mashes that's definitely not enough cash. Yeah, okay. That is not enough cash to upgrade mash. I don't think we're gonna have any sort of trouble, at least until wave 50 boss spawns. I think maybe after wave 50 boss spawns, it might get a little bit more challenging, but yeah, at least we're done with mash, which is one of the most expensive units, I believe. So his sell price is currently at 78.4K. I guess we can see how much uh, Sukun is gonna be after we finally upgraded him. So Sukuna you can place back here. He does have more than enough range with Oshi Puff to actually cover this entire arc with his cone. So yeah, I don't know. This unit, something is wrong with this guy. I know this guy is strong, but this strong, I don't know. Like, if you guys don't have Sukuna, do, do yourselves a favor and just go ahead and evo him. He's absolutely insane. Even if you don't have Avatar, the unit is extremely good. But once you get Avatar on him, he just becomes a completely like different beast like he is by far the best unit in the game and nothing comes close to Sukuna it's actually insane how strong he is all right you see like we're almost done with his upgrades and he's literally half the self value of uh, the mashes it's kind of crazy so 15 and I think the last upgrade should be 25k so that should be an extra 40k well not really that big of a deal okay 38k so it's gonna cap at around 50k self value well yeah a lot, a lot cheaper than Mesh and place four of them down. All right.
right, guys, we do have a little bit more money now, so let's go ahead and hopefully that's enough to actually finish the sabers. I'm not even sure. Um, right, let me see. Displacement is pretty good. Let's just dump one more here, I guess, in the front. Okay, wonderful. All right, we have enough money. I don't think we're going to have enough money to finish Kojo, but as you can see, we're looking for 51, and things have started getting a little bit more interesting at this point. And yeah, okay, so the boss is bugged. I don't know how they bug. I don't know if it's rookie only that bugs them, but yeah, apparently bosses are still bugging in place. That's good for us though. Right. Um, one more upgrade and then we can start working on our Kocho and we should be good to go at this point. Let's, should we just do this for fun? Okay, let's do this for fun. Boom. How much damage is he gonna get? Let's see. She got like 35 million damage, okay, that's not even bad, right? I mean, it's 7x here damage. It's not like the nuke is crazy, but it's pretty decent, I guess, I would say. There we go, another one for you. And upgrade this. We do another minor release. Let's just bump off them now. I don't really see a reason, to be honest, not to use them. I think we might have some money to, like, replace one of them, maybe. But yeah, so far so good. But look at this. This is what I was talking about earlier, right? Look at our total damage, guys. Our total damage is 4.3 billion. And Sukuna has done 3.4 out of that. Like, if I didn't press the nukes now to just, like, bump them all up to, like, 100 million, they would have done such low damage. Obviously, we just placed them. So that is also a thing. Like, uh, they just started doing damage. And, okay. I think we just changed the first now at this point. And... Gojo. Honestly, guys, what if you just keep Gojo at his Lapse Blue? So, Gojo in his second upgrade, while he has the Lapse Blue, before he basically turns into a line unit with Purple Hollow, he does actually do a stun. So, we would have a full AOE stun. I think that's what I think that's the play. So, we go only at, up until upgrade 6, and there you go. Okay, never mind. So, at upgrade 5 it is. Upgrade 6 is what changes him. So, right here, Gojo is basically an AoE stun unit. Three, four... Okay, I don't have more money, but it's fine. You see? Like, it just stuns everything. So we do have an AoE stun on top of the freeze. I think that's the play. You just leave Gojo on upgrade 5, be a stun unit, and the moment you want to use, like, your infinite domain expansion, you just, like, upgrade him. I think that's the better play. That's if you're solo, right? Obviously, if you play with other people, they just have another Gojo, and I guess the weakest player just, uh... Leaves his Gojo unranked. But yeah, 157 so far. We're starting We're starting to have some leaks, actually, at this point. So it's starting to get a little bit harder here. Okay, 47k. This is going to take a while until we actually have more, some more cash to place another knight. But I think we can probably replace one or two of them. I actually wonder how much more money or less money all she makes compared to Speedwagon while she has Entrepreneur. So... Technically speaking, like you can just have one person in the run out of four, Rigoshi, for the buffs, and three of us like just use money. But like comparing Speedwagon to Entrepreneur Roshi, I haven't tried that. I actually got Speedwagon yesterday. I didn't, I didn't even bother getting Speedwagon so far. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so my knight is attacking there. That's not good. It's still worth to attack last, I think. And then the master should just take care of him. But my Sukuna doesn't bleed on everything else now. Because he's not set to last. Okay, that's interesting then. So I have no idea what's the best play here. I feel like Sukuna not applying dismantling to all of those is definitely not the play. Anyway, I think they just go through and then we just Sukuna arrow everything. I think that's probably the way to get the furthest. And then we also have Gojo time stop for second run. Probably. I might be wrong, I don't know. But anyway, let's sell this one. Upgrade to the max. Set to last. Turn around and Excalibur, or whatever it's called, I don't know. Isn't Excalibur Gilgamesh sword? Let me know down below in the comments, I'm actually unsure. But well, nonetheless, we're farming a lot of damage. So currently at 17.5 billion total damage, and our Sukuna has done like 12 point, well, 13 billion out of that. I don't know, this unit is insane. Like Avatar and Sukuna is insane. I feel like Avatar and all bleed units just makes them so freaking good. Like, if you look at every single burn unit, even Yamamoto, who is considered a meme unit, is actually a pretty good unit if you have Avatar. He, he does 
pretty decent damage. All right, so now is where the fun part begins. So you guys see my Sukuna is at 15 billion damage currently. So I'm about to flame Arrow now because he does take some time to cast it. That's how he actually lost yesterday in a run. We waited until the last moment to cast the flame Arrow and it didn't really work out. And this camera angle was not really it. Wait, are we losing actually? No, 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 no! Please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, 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 please. Oh, there's a save it last moment. Oh, I actually lost. Oh, come on, man! Could have gotten wave sixty six actually. Probably if we delayed a little bit more with Infinity Void. I don't know how long the delay is. I think it's only twelve seconds. Okay, maybe that was cap. Maybe sixty five, but wave sixty four pretty decent. I feel like for solo purposes and yeah like eventually you just like start having not enough damage we've got an avatar guts there just bleeding everything um i'm pretty sure we can get to 70 plus and yeah that was a pretty decent run now i know little boots are bugged uh i don't know if they don't show up at all or what do people mean by them being bugged so let's go ahead and check okay yeah and there's just nothing like the libros are just blank clear but 64 solo i feel like it's not even bad pretty decent run and yeah basically carried by sukuna i wonder how much more damage i could have done with an avatar guts in the squad but then again the question is who would i replace i would have to probably replace the savers i think but yeah like Sukuna is just one man army at the moment. I don't know, he's so damn strong. Uh, kind of funny, actually. But anyway, guys, let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed the video and the run. Let me know how, you, how far you guys can go as a solo attempt. And yeah, that was pretty much it for this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.